Cardboard and Soil, a sustainable alternative to concrete engineers in Australia, have developed a new building material that could transform the way we construct homes and infrastructure. Made entirely from cardboard, soil, and water, this innovative composite has just one quarter of the carbon footprint of concrete and could drastically cut construction waste headed to landfills. If you like my content and want to listen more interesting science stories like this, then subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and colleagues. The material developed by a team at RMIT University is called Cardboard Confined Rammed Earth. It combines the ancient technique of rammed earth compacting soil into solid blocks or walls with modern cardboard confinement, eliminating the need for cement. The result is a durable, low-cost, and recyclable material strong enough for low-rise buildings. A greener alternative concrete is the most widely used building material on Earth, but its environmental cost is staggering. Cement production alone accounts for about 8% of global carbon dioxide emissions. Meanwhile, Australia discards more than 2.2 million tons of cardboard and paper annually, much of it ending up in landfill. Modern rammed earth usually requires cement for added strength, but this comes at a heavy environmental price, says study lead Dr. Jaming Ma of RMIT. By simply using cardboard, soil, and water, we've shown it's possible to build robust walls without cement, at lower cost and with a fraction of the emissions. Compared to concrete, the new material produces 75% fewer emissions and costs less than one-third to manufacture. Its reliance on locally sourced soil makes it especially attractive for remote or resource-limited regions. Practical Advantages The construction process is straightforward. Soil mixed with water is compacted into cardboard formwork, either by hand or with machinery. Once dried, the cardboard not only holds the structure together but also adds to its strength. The mechanical performance can be tuned by adjusting the thickness of the cardboard tubes, a relationship the RMIT team has now quantified. This system means builders don't need to transport heavy bricks, steel, or concrete, explains Emeritus Professor Yi Min Mikey Z, a co-author of the study. They only need lightweight cardboard while most of the material can be obtained on site. This reduces transport costs, simplifies logistics, and lowers upfront material demands. The approach could be particularly valuable in regional Australia where suitable red soils are abundant or in developing regions where infrastructure is costly to transport. Natural climate control. Beyond strength and sustainability, cardboard confined rammed earth offers natural thermal regulation. Thick earthen walls act as a thermal mass, absorbing heat during the day and releasing it slowly at night. This helps stabilize indoor temperatures and humidity reducing reliance on air conditioning and lowering energy bills. These properties make rammed earth buildings ideal for hot climates, says Ma. By harnessing the natural thermal mass of soil, we can design structures that are both sustainable and comfortable. Scaling up. The team has already demonstrated how cardboard thickness correlates with wall strength, giving engineers a simple formula for design. In a related project, Ma's group even combined rammed earth with carbon fiber producing results comparable to high-performance concrete. The researchers are now seeking industry partners to scale up the technology for broader application. They see cardboard-confined rammed earth as part of a larger movement toward low-carbon construction, complementing global efforts to reach net-zero emissions. This innovation could reshape building practices worldwide, says Ma. It not only reuses waste materials, but also draws on local soils and simple methods. By rethinking what we build with, we can make architecture greener, cheaper, and more resilient.